live stream uh, with the series uh, Rebuilding the Russian Empire. And up until now, I've been developing mostly the economy, gaining popularity. Uh, I think I've deployed a number of spy networks. Uh, we have increased our diplomatic relations with a few countries. Montenegro, right there, strategic uh, strip of land along the Adriatic. Um, Let's see, there's tension with the Ukraine. Uh, I've opened up trade deals with the United States. And they're still not friendly with us. And I've also, I think I opened up some trade deals with uh, the United Kingdom. Tried to do France, that didn't really work out too well. Uh, but in this game, we're going to start to get a little more aggressive. So, um, step number one is we are going to look at arms embargoes and that I believe is under I haven't played this game in a while um, diplomacy there it is manage arms embargoes wait a minute alright manage repatriation of nationals from abroad no manage bans for head of state. Wow, I wonder if we could ban the head of state. That could increase tension between us and the Ukraine. That might be uh, an option. Um, manage embassies abroad. Close the embassy. Oh, wow, there's a lot of things we could do. I didn't realize here. Um, to, like, sort of increase tensions. Our first step is going to be an arms embargo. And I am going to... I think I'm just going to cut off all trade as far as arms to the Ukraine. I don't know if importing would be that bad. I'm just going to cut off the whole thing. No, oh, man, now I'm torn. I didn't realize I could... <laughs> I thought I'd just be cutting off what I export. Alright, let's just, I'm just going to cut off the whole thing. Because I have plans anyway. Alright, so we have now cut off the arms embargo. Or we've started an arms embargo against the Ukraine and because of that I am going to start to open up some uh, trade deals arms trades with other countries uh, to cover any losses that I have there so we're going to set up a diplomatic meeting with Belarus and that's going to be set for Saturday and I'm also want to want to set up a diplomatic meeting with Cuba right here. Cuba is not an ally in the game, um, but historically Russia and Cuba have a, had good relationships. Actually, I don't know if they still have good relationships. I know in the Cold War they definitely did because they were communists, but Russia isn't communist anymore. Uh, I'm going to set up a meeting anyways. And uh, the reason why I chose Cuba and Belarus, uh, first I'll talk about Cuba. Cuba is right on the border of the United States for one, and uh, well, that might hurt our relations with the United States, I'm not sure. Um, but Cuba also, um, and I've known this from playing the game a few times, a lot of times Cuba tends to invade the Bahamas. And uh, if they do, usually France, UK, sometimes the United States all tend to intervene. And if those countries, the Security Council countries, are preoccupied in a Cuban war in the Atlantic, then that might give me some free reign in Eastern Europe uh, to expand there. And I'm setting up uh, uh, some trade deals with, I'm going to sell arms to Belarus, uh, because, I can just start the clock now, I guess, um, because also, and I know a lot of this from playing the game a couple times, Belarus tends to start a war, I don't know if they start a war, if someone starts a war with them, in Eastern Europe, within like the first year of the game, usually. So, and since Belarus is an ally of mine, I'm going to plan to intervene on their behalf. 
So I'm hoping that um, selling some arms to them might, um, you know, perpetuate that uh, conflict. Foreign policy. All right, so we took a hit with the arms embargo, but not really. It didn't really go down at all. Zero percent. Okay. So that's not a problem. Uh, our targets, and I think I said this before, my first target obviously is going to be the Ukraine. Um, and I'd like to try to meet with this group down here to support them. My second target, I think, is going to be Finland. And since that arms embargo... Well, let me check out the... Oh, I lost the newspaper. Okay. What is going on here? Famine? There's a new newspaper. So let's see what this says. Alright, nothing there. Russia government imposes a ban on weapons imports exports with Ukraine. Alright. That's the only thing in the paper. Conflict still raging in the Middle East, but we are we have extradited ourselves from that conflict. And we're gonna focus in the north. Ukraine, Finland, and also I think Mongolia. Right? Yeah, there's a well, you know what I want to do before I start tensions with Mongolia? Is uh, improve my relations with China. Let's look at this. Alright, an autonomous league, Muslim League, in China. That must be causing some problems for them. I think we did pretty good in the last episode. We dismantled about 20, 28% of a uh, group that's bothering us in the south. Russian forces for pure Islam. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and issue the arms embargo on Finland. Finland is not a... NATO member, so they are a good target to begin causing tensions. Arms embargo with Finland. Import and export. I don't know if the import is as good. Let's just shut off the export. Alright, so we now have placed two arms embargo. It hasn't affected our foreign policy at all. I was worried that it would uh, cause foreign policy to drop. But popularity is maintained. So, so far so good. I think um, another country I wanted to deal with was Japan. Actually, I do want to set up a meeting with China, but I also, also want to set up a meeting with Japan. There's a few things I just want to sell the Japanese. Because they have pretty good markets. Now, China, I'm not going to sell from them as much as instead I'm going to buy from them. Uh, just because I want good relations with China, really. I think they have good deals. Good prices. Alright, so we're just going to have to wait for some of these meetings to come out. Looks like we're coming up on our first meeting on uh, Saturday, March 26th. And uh, probably going to take some more steps to increase tension with the Ukraine, especially since the Ukraine uh, placed those troops on our borders in the last uh, one of the last episodes. So I think we have justification for war with them, somewhat. Alright, meeting with Belarus. Here we go. Arms deals. Uh, first of all, we're going to offer them coffee. Renegotiate military lines. I don't think I re need to renegotiate it. Human rights. Ooh, that might hurt us. Oh, I love your country. Time to sell you guns. Alright, things I think I'm going to sell. Belarus, I have a list here. It looks like helicopters, missile launchers. That's what I'm going to sell. Helicopters and missile launchers. So... Let's talk about a sales contract there, sir. And we are going to look to sell you a product. And first product we want to sell you is going to be helicopters. Okay. Do I want to sell helicopters to anybody else? Probably want to keep some helicopters for myself. Um, 
Let's see here. Uh, let's say 26. What is this add clause? I don't know what this is. First date available. Cost over three years with interest. Huh. I don't know what this add clause is. Once-off sale of helicopters. Proceeding clause. And uh, let's see, I also wanted to sell missile launchers, right. And I don't see missile launchers on there. Clause two, cancel that. No, wait, go back. Sell. Is missile launchers not on the list? There they are, missile launch. Alright. Helicopters. I'm looking to sell 20. Sell you 20 helicopters. Agreement cancelled. Quantity of helicopters you wish to sell much too... way too much. Too much. Okay, well, I'll sell you 10. How about that? Helicopters, where are you? There you are. 10 helicopters. I don't even want to sell that many helicopters. Ah, there it is. Okay, good. All right, 10 helicopters to Belarus should cause... some tension hopefully and let's see if we can sell them missile launchers as well supplying our enemies and our allies and um, hopefully inciting some conflict let's see if they'll take 10 missile launchers all right 10 missile launchers and 10 helicopters to Belarus Renegotiating the military alliance. Do I have options here? Military bases. Uh, I don't need that. Not worried. They're right on right on my border. I can get troops there pretty quickly. All right. I think that was a successful meeting. Two sales contracts. Selling off two of our arms. Compensation for the uh, Ukrainian embargoes and the Finnish embargo. So I think things are looking pretty good. Our next meeting, I think, is with Cuba, right? Cuba, I'm going to sell them some of my uh, naval weaponry. Some surface ships, maybe some subs. I think I have a nuclear sub I can sell. Uh, let's see. Another thing I wanted to look into was education Spanish no oh, look at this this is interesting Spain network approaching terrorist group in total jihad I don't want to wait a minute total jihad isn't that the network in Syria I, I don't want to get involved in this one I'm not interested all right, turn that turn that meeting down. All right, Russian newspaper. Let's see. First, let's look at the newspaper. I just want to check, let's see what happened. Um, meeting between heads of state. What can you expect of these two? It's obvious they look alike. <laughs> Commented by a filmmaker. All right, Russia imposes ban on Finland weapons exports. We made a pretty good deal, 45 million. Politician, let's see, sends beneficial wins national pride. That's good. West African, head of West African community, former diplomat. 
was elected. And then another big deal for 107. Okay. Good newspaper headlines. Let's have a meeting for last week. Uh, let's have a meeting with Cuba. Juan Bravo. Offer your coffee, sir. And I guess I'll say I love your country. Nice. Alright, let's see if we can sell you some weapons. Sales contract. And the weapons I'm going to sell Cuba. Let's see. Fighter planes. Surface ships. And conventional subs. I think those... Oh, I'm going to try to do three here. Let's see what we got. Fighter planes. I only got nine. I'll sell you five of these. Will you take... Will you accept the five? Way too much for Cuban needs. Huh. Alright, how about... Instead of five... Take three. Take a third of the fighters. Good. Made a deal with them. Once off sale, three fighter planes. I guess we're only once off sale means that we're just selling them and then we're done, huh? Now, ah, I should have looked at how many. Because uh, the helicopters we sold ten, right? All right, production under contract is 10. It looks like national production went up. So I think sometimes when you make these trade deals, it stimulates the industry. All right, so three fighter planes sold to Cuba. We're going to try to sell them some... Well, I don't see it. Surface ships. I don't see surface ships. Or submarines. Doesn't look like they want any of our other stuff. Oh, other surface ships. Oh, and then it's going to be conventional submarines. Alright. So, I don't know how many I can sell here. Other surface ships. There's really nobody else that I plan on selling this to, so I'm going to offer them 10 surface ships. That could really help with an invasion of the Bahamas. That's way too many. Alright, let's do, instead of 10, let's give them, um, other surface ships, let's give them 5, cut off, cut that initial offer in half. Way too much. What about 4, the, that'll be 25% of our sale of our uh, supply, sorry. 25% of the surface ships. Come on, buy it. Buy it. Ah! All right, sorry, this is tedious. I'll sell them uh, two. They gotta take two. I think they would take two. If they don't take two, I'm not gonna bother with the one. At least take two. Come on. Oh, man. Okay. No service ships for Cuba. The other country I was thinking is Venezuela. Venezuela does cause some problems down in uh, the Southern Caribbean. And France needs to get involved. Sometimes the uh, UK and sometimes the United States. Anytime one of those big countries gets involved, it could also tie in the other two. Um, so service ships is a no-go. How about conventional submarines? That was the other thing I was looking to sell Cuba. And that will be it. Conventional submarines? I do not want an alliance with Cuba because I don't want to get involved in their war. I have five conventional submarines. I'll try to sell them one submarine. Will you take one submarine? No. Okay. They don't want any Navy. All right. So just the fighter jets. That's all they want for now. And uh, I'm not proposing a military alliance with them. 
that's it for Cuba. Okay, well, that's about 20 minutes in this episode. Uh, we've managed some arms embargoes and some arms deals. Uh, next episode, we're going to continue to meet with uh, countries and uh, negotiate some contracts. I'm going to put a cut here. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you're watching a live stream, we're going to keep going. Uh, YouTube, I'll see you in the next episode.